It's the last absolute monarchy in Africa. It's got two capital cities, and in April 2018, it changed its name. This is the Kingdom of Eswatini. <laughs> Eswatini, formerly known as Swaziland, totally defines the phrase, big things come in small packages. It's one of Africa's smallest nations, but packs a punch when it comes to what it offers. From its cultural festivals and super impressive wildlife, to adrenaline boosting activities and awesome bagpiping spots. It's no wonder that they call this country Africa in a nutshell. Most visitors enter Eswatini by road because it's only about a four hour drive from Johannesburg, South Africa or a three hour drive from Maputo, Mozambique. In 2018, we entered from the Mozambican side and what followed was a week load of bagpipey and non-bagpipey adventures. Out of total chance, our Eswatini trip coincided with the 50-50 celebrations, which were being held to celebrate King Mswati's 50th birthday and the country's 50th anniversary of independence. We were being hosted by the Tourism Association, so super fortunately, we got some front row seats, and wow, were we lucky. Today is the 50-50 celebrations in Swaziland. And everyone's looking super smart. There's royal family here, there's warriors and women doing traditional dances, there's been a few flybys, and there's even been a bit of Shania Twain. Cake celebrations have taken an unexpected turn. Cheerleaders and Shania Twain. The one thing everyone was anticipating more than anything was the King's speech. And it did not disappoint. <laughs> At the end of his 40-minute address to the nation, King Mswati III changed the name of the country. From today forward, we shall be called the Kingdom of Eswati. Changing the name of a country might seem unusual, however, it's definitely not unheard of. Rhodesia became Zimbabwe, Nyasaland became Malawi, and Bichwanaland became Botswana. The difference is that those three countries changed their names more or less as soon as they got independence. Eswatini waited 50 years after independence to do so. The name Eswatini didn't come out of the blue. It's used in the Siswati language, the national language of Eswatini, and the king had been referring to Swaziland as Eswatini for a number of years. To top it off, Eswatini was the name used by the country before it was colonized by the British, so it makes sense to revert back to a pre-colonial name. Reasons and surprises aside, we entered Swaziland and left Eswatini a week later. How cool is that? <laughs> Some other Eswatini facts for you whilst you're here. The currency is called the Lilangeni. The country also has the second largest rock in the entire world, and it's called Sebebe Rock. Quite something to witness. And in June 2018, Eswatini hosted its first ever Pride Parade. Awesome. Swaziland was also my 79th country with the bagpipes, so that potentially makes Eswatini my 80th country, but I'll let you decide that one. 